There'll be another Justin Bieber, another Britney Spears, another Criss Cross, another Miley Cyrus. And all of them will get funneled into this dark hole, pants sagging low with one extra caveat to it. It was front to back so that the zipper was behind him. ...of the famed hip-hop duo Criss Cross, Chris Kelly, pronounced dead Wednesday evening at an Atlanta hospital. Nothing, Puff. I'll be back to you if J.D. ain't had enough. <laughs> yeah. Jermaine Dupree, king of the pedophiles, if you ask me, baby. <laughs> Look at Disney. Take Disney, for instance. Where do most of their stars get their start? In music, right? At what age? Somewhere between 9 and 13. Why? People used to tell me that rap back in the day was so much better than rap today, you ain't never gonna hear the kind of crap you heard now that you're gonna hear back then. That's what I always was told. Man, it was so much better. Music was so much better. No, we were just more blind. That's all it was. They hid worse stuff in front of us because we were so blind. I will be the first to admit we were blinded, we were dumb, we didn't know what we were looking at, and they knew we didn't know what we were looking at. You want a case in point? When I was younger, there was a uh, rap group by the name of Criss Cross. Man, I used to listen to Criss Cross like it was my, that tape was stretched. Like I had to keep using my pencil to make sure that thing got wind back in. I don't know if you're familiar with tape, maybe I'm, I'm aging myself here, but if you're familiar with, you know, cassettes, we used to put that thing in our little player and I had me a little Walkman, right? I, I love this thing. It was cheap, obviously, but it was a, you know, a faithful, old and faithful. And I'm telling you, I used to play jump, jump on repeat. I mean, but of course, back then, repeat would mean I'd play it and then I got to wait another 15 hours to rewind it on my discman, right? Because you, know, you got to rewind and then play it again. So by the time you get there, you probably listen to it twice versus 18 times walking home. But when you look back at the particular group, there is something that kind of stood out now that never stood out back then. Whether that be because we were blind or whether that be because we were too engulfed in it, something kept us unaware. So we're going to point out some things and then we're going to kind of show you why things were that way with them and possibly some other things that happened to them that could have caused the demise of one of their members. If you remember how they dressed, um, they had extra big clothes always hanging on them, right? And then they had these sagging pants. The one thing most people didn't seem to realize, I mean, some of us, we knew about it. We used to wear our pants like that. So not me. I couldn't because my mom would have broke my back if I had even come to the house looking like that. I couldn't. There was no way I could do it. I could act like it outside. But when I got to the home, I had to put my tie up and put my jacket on because I wasn't going to be like that in the house. But when you look at their dress, their outfit, pants sagging low with one extra caveat to it. It was front to back so that the zipper was behind him. I'm pointing that out to show you something that's coming up here that you may or may not have known. There have been discussions floating around that some people had done some things to both Chris and Chris. And, um, when you hear the names, of course, you're going to probably say, ah, should have known, should have known he'd be in on it. So the names are Puff and Jermaine Dupree. Now, I will be the first to tell you that I was not necessarily a knowledgeable person on Jermaine Dupree. However, now that I've been in this particular field of work, a lot of their misdeeds have come to the surface and you will see some things and hear some things about them that... If you're a fan, um, well, I don't know if I can say I'm sorry. We're going to probably break some bubbles that you have around them, and we're probably going to make you a little bit mad at us, or we'll wake you up. It We had to wake up, too. There were some accusations floating around that they had had some um, issues with those particular people. From inappropriate contact to straight out S.A., even to the point where the oldest one did not want to have anything more to do with life, turned to drugs. And eventually those drugs 
killed him. For the member of the famed hip hop duo Chris Cross, Chris Kelly, pronounced dead Wednesday evening at an Atlanta hospital. Now, when asked about it, Jermaine Dupri kind of seemed to be aloof about it. Now, he had said that they were like his kids. All of these people seem to have one very big thing, though. They always say, oh, these little ones are like my kids. These are like, I hope, I hope, I hope they never have kids because of how they treat people who they say are their kids, or at least they act like their kids. When asked about his death, what happened? Well, and uh, we hadn't talked for a while, and uh, yeah, he, I think he was somewhere around 30. He, he yeah. passes at a, at a relatively young age. Was it 30-something? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, sometimes I forget my kid's age. I get that. But if you say you were as close as you were, why wouldn't you remember that? Or why would you lose contact? Did you see that coming at all? Were you guys still in contact? Mm, no, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't see that coming. Now, when you hear who had been the first person to ring the bell about it, you're going to first probably think, oh, he crazy or he's hilarious. Cat Williams was the first one to bring our attention to it. And he did it in a sort of a freestyle, you know, Cat Williams-esque kind of way. And many thought, he, oh, he high. He can't be serious. He's, he's making, poking fun. He's poking fun about Jermaine Dupri. He's poking fun about all these people. But he called them some pretty man, um, heavy words. I'll, I'll let you hear the, the so-called freestyle real quick so you can hear it for yourself from him so you won't think I'm lying about it. What's happening, Puff? I'll be back to you if JD ain't had enough. <laughs> yeah? Jermaine Dupri. King of the pedophiles, if you ask me, baby. Shh. Now, what if Cat Williams is right? Now, everybody knows he's one of the few, one of the few who decided that he was not going to give in to this agenda. What happened to him as a result? They made him look crazy. His career kind of half tanked. And the only reason his resurgence is happening is because he stuck to his guns and he's building it up slowly. But surely... He never lost who he was. Whether or not you like the guy that's insignificant to the point that we're trying to talk about. He never gave in to the wilds of Hollywood and fame in order to get more fame. And his conversations talking about these particular individuals being that giant P word is interesting because he has to have some sort of knowledge, especially if they approached him. His theory is that Jermaine is a known and one of the worst pedophiles for a long time hollywood has been the breeding ground for entertainment yes we get that and they seem to have this extra fascination with the young why would we expect the music industry to be any different the music industry is one of the look at disney take disney for instance where do most of their stars get their start in music right at what age somewhere between 9 and 13 why and not only why what exactly are you going to do by pulling a child away from its parents to foster them in an environment where all you are looking for is their abilities it's by design we know that it's by design obviously but there are those who may not have caught on at least like we did back in the day watching crisscross we couldn't have seen heaven alone knows what happens to those boys behind closed doors Especially with the people who were over them, people like Puff and Jermaine. Now, I don't know whether or not Cat Williams has any credence to what he's saying. But I can base what he's saying in reality when looking at other people's cases. When I look at other young people, I can see that this has merit. Whether it has merit in this situation, I don't know. But I'm more prone to believe Cat Williams than I am to disbelieve him. Hollywood, the entertainment industry, the music industry, all of it seems to have an interesting fascination with children. And they bring them in under the guise of, we're fostering your abilities. We see the kinds of skills you have and we want to make you famous. Now, let's talk about conditions. Young man, this is what we'll require of you. Parents will pay you off. There you go. You good? You got your money? Good. Now just leave your kids and we'll be fine. It still happens today. If any of you have ever had little babies and you've gotten these uh, little flyers in the mail, and they've probably stopped sending them out by now, but Gerber used to send a lot of these little flyers out to say, if you, is your child beautiful? 
come and bring the child down for auditions to be one of our Gerber babies. I remember getting one. Heck, I remember getting two of them. And it crossed my mind for a brief second. And I cannot tell you that I didn't do it because, oh, I was afraid of their agenda. I didn't know about their agenda. I just didn't feel right putting my child in front of a camera. But many have. Many did exactly that. And they got plugged into the system and they never got out. Chris Cross was just one of the others that did exactly that. And for some reason, when someone comes up telling us that this had taken place and these are the culprits, we deem them as the upset and crazy one. Well, why not the ones he's talking about being the crazy ones? I do feel for people like Chris Cross. I do because... It was, like I keep saying, the job of their parents to protect them, and that didn't happen. It was the job of people who say they care about them to protect them, and that didn't happen. And you would have thought that this kind of behavior, while illegal, would be enforced. Nope, because there's too much money involved. Cat Williams has been exposing a lot lately. He's been spilling beans, throwing tea out the window. And a lot of these things that he's been saying seems to be coming true. Will we find out that this was just another one and will there be anybody held responsible? I, Just based on how things have gone, I cannot say that it will. I don't see it coming to fruition that anyone will be held responsible. No one's foot will be held to the fire, especially when it comes to Puff. They may have, may have, somebody that takes the fall. But the events that happens, they won't stop. There will be another Justin Bieber another Britney Spears, another Criss Cross, another Miley Cyrus. And all of them will get funneled into this dark hole to be abused by depraved men and women. Their uppins will come, we understand that. Their uppins will come. It would just be really nice to see a little bit of that justice served on a nice little plate while we still have breath to see it.